In today's show, we're going to learn how to save our PowerShell script to a file, and then we're going to run that file using a Windows scheduled task, so that way you can get an automated solution, right? You want to play hooky, but still get your PowerShell scripts to run? This is the video for you. But first, here's our intro. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras. Those guys. And today's show is all about taking your PowerShell scripts and saving them to a file so then that way we can run them via a scheduled task. So we're going to walk through saving a file and then we're going to take and make that a scheduled task. We'll make it run every five minutes just so we can see it run. But it should give you all the mechanics that you need so you can make more automated solutions. Right? Back when I was a full-time administrator, that's what I was all about. How do I automate solutions so it does the work for me so I could, you know, work on my golf game, play more solitaire, look at funny cat videos on the internet. Whatever it is you want to do, I want to help you do it more with PowerShell. And this video comes to us thanks to Kenny. I don't want to give Kenny's last name or where he's from because I haven't heard back from him if he wants to plug, but either way, mystery Kenny, if you're out there, this video is for you. All right, this is just a reminder that if you guys have questions, leave me comments, send me emails, tweets, that type of stuff. Kenny asked just a great question. I was like, man, that, that'd be a good topic for a video. So I was like, give me a day. I'll pop this out as a video for you real quick. Not actually for him. Right? I'm not going to do his job, but I'm going to show him all the foundational stuff. And I'm going to show you guys at the same time. So leave me the stuff below and we can uh, always hook up where it makes sense. All right. That's enough jibber jabber. Let's just dive in by switching over here to my desktop. And so on my desktop, I have just opened up the PowerShell ISE and I've just got a couple of quick lines that I wrote. Um, nothing complicated here, right? You could do any script you want, but I just want to do something that would produce some output so we could take a look at it. What did I do here? So I said get date and then write that out to a file named e colon demo. We'll call this um, log for video, right? We'll rename it log for video dot text and dash append. So that's just going to get the current system date and then output it to a file uh, called log for video. Then the second line get PS drive, so that gets all the drives, all the file system drives on my machine. And then it takes those and it only gives us the ones that are the file system provider, right? Let's run this real quick so you can see what it looks like. So I'll highlight just that, hit run. And so you can see, it's like, all right, your C drive, you got 106 gigs free, your D drive, you've got almost nothing free, E, F. So it just runs the different uh, system files. Now I could then take that, and I kind of messed with this earlier and I ran out of time, but you could pipe this over to select and only select the particular properties you want. Or reality, if you're gonna make this, I'd probably log it to an Excel workbook, right? Via CSV. And we've covered all of those topics before in other videos. So check those out if you're like, hey, that's what I wanted to do. Don't worry, I've covered how to write to a CSV file in a you know format that you can control and uh, translate from this. So anyway, we're gonna take that output. We're gonna write that to log for video also. Okay, so append that, that. So let's run this whole thing one time and see what it should happen. So say run our script and we'll go over here. And so there's log for video, just created us a file. And if we double click on that, you can see that it logs Saturday, February 10th. That's right, dedication here. I'm making this video on a Saturday because well, dinner's not ready and I had a few minutes. So I thought I'd make you a video. But anyway, uh, and then you can see that it followed up here. And so if we run it a second time, we'll close this, run the script again. Boom, it ran again. We'll double click on it. And so then now you can see there's another entry, right? This one's at 6.09 p.m. in 25 seconds. It took me 24 seconds to get around running it a second time. And then there's all the same information. Anyway, we don't really care, right? This video is not about that simple little script. What this video is about is now that we've figured out the PowerShell that we want to run on a daily, weekly, hourly, by minute basis, how are we going to take and automate that? So the first step is we're going to take all this and we're going to say save. And I've already saved this, so I'm going to do a save as this time. But I'm going to save this to e colon demo and I'm going to call this video PS, right? Video PowerShell. Terrible name, but it works because I'll know what it was. You probably wouldn't. Say save. Okay, so that was step one. We've saved this PowerShell into a PS1 file. So if we look over here, there is a file video PS and it's a .ps1 if I didn't type it in, but I should have. Um, and so that type of file, PowerShell can run, right? It's a PowerShell script file. So let's minimize this, let's minimize this, and now let's type in start, and let's do, oh, let's spell task correctly. Let's run the task scheduler. Now, and we'll make this a little bit bigger. 
So I am not a task schedule um, guru, so I'm not going to try and tell you the intricacies of all the cool things you can do here. There's a lot you can do here. What I am more of, style of, is let's create a basic task. I'm a basic kind of guy. So we're going to create a basic task. I'm clicking the little link over here. We're going to give it a name. We're going to call it Video Automation. We can give it a description. Shane made this. You'd probably want to make your description a little more descriptive. We'll say next. What's our trigger? How often do I want to run this? Um, I want to do it daily. So we'll say next. And then do you want it to recur every day? You know, you can kind of get into really make these schedules anything you want. But we're just going to do the simple recurs every day. And we will do it at a 6, 12, 38. All right. So one minute from now. Hopefully I can get this done in one minute. So we'll say next. What actions do I want? I want to start a program. So hit next. So for program here, what you need to type in is PowerShell, right? And so PowerShell.exe is in the system path. So it's just automatically going to run PowerShell.exe. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass to PowerShell.exe e colon demo. What did I even name this file? e colon demo video ps dot ps1. Video ps dot ps1. So that says fire up PowerShell with that parameter, which will run that script. We say next. It's like, hey, are you happy with all this? I am. So we'll say finish. Now, it took me a minute earlier to figure out where they were hiding these, right back to I'm not a PowerShell task scheduler MVP. But if we double click on this guy, we then click on the task scheduler library. In here, you'll see my video automation script, right? It's going to run at 612. Oh, it looks like it's uh, next runtime, 612.38. All right, so it's coming. Got to go faster. But uh, if yours isn't showing up, I had this problem earlier today, right click right here and then do a refresh. And then you should absolutely see what you created, right? Well, pro tip. I, I do know some things about task scheduler. So now if we minimize this and we wait just a few seconds, let's see, 612. Oh, it looks like it might have ran. Let's double click on it. So there's our 6969, 61238. Boom, it's logged, right? So now tomorrow at 61238, it's going to run and put that in there. And that's really all you need to know, right? Now we've got a PowerShell script that is running um, on a scheduled task that we've set up. You can get into scheduled tasks, right? If we go back over here to task scheduler, you can right click on this guy and go to properties. And so then you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here, right? So if you need to do more complex things, but I'm not the right guy to teach you, so I'm not going to bother, but I've gotten you to a PowerShell script that will execute on a scheduled task. I feel like my work is done. I'm starting to smell dinner. So Hopefully this was the answer that Kenny was looking for, and hopefully this is the answer that you were looking for. So if you have any other ideas, down below. You never know when your idea might turn into one of these videos. So thanks, and have a great day. Hey, it's me again. Just a reminder, if you don't mind, click the old subscribe button over here. That always helps me out. Or if you want to work together, you can always hit me up through the bold zebras. Or if really what you want is some more of these power app videos, which is probably what you want, then the playlist is somewhere on the screen here. All right, thanks. Have a great day.